Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you my complete collection of Cartoon Network DVDs. You can see I got a little pile here. Now my collection of Cartoon Network DVDs is a lot smaller than my Nickelodeon and Disney collections and stuff like that. Uh, mainly because a lot of the shows that I like, they've only released like one or two seasons of, so that's like all I can get. And there's some other shows like newer shows, regular show and uh, you know that kind of thing. They've released those on Blu-ray a few seasons, but I've kind of held off on buying them just because they've been kind of expensive. But anyways, I'll show you everything I got up to this point. And the first one I'll show you is Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the complete first season, which is my absolute favorite Cartoon Network cartoon of all time. Absolute favorite. So I'm really glad that they released this, plus the second season, which I also will show you. Uh, nice case style. It's a nice uh, two disc set, but it's in a regular style, a uh, regular sized DVD case, which is nice. And we have a nice insert with an episode guide. Really like to have that. And then there's some advertisements for other DVDs and games. So that's the first season. Very happy to have that. And next is the second season of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, which is Basically almost identical in the style that they released it with the case and artwork and everything Pretty much the same. So here's disc one disc two and we also have an insert with an episode guide And some DVDs on the back So next up we have the Hall of Fame Dexter's Laboratory with a nice shiny slip cover. And the thing about these Hall of Fame DVDs, uh, they released Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, and Courage the Cowardly Dog. And the slip cover thing I think was kind of a limited time run, so some of these shows you can't get slip covers for anymore. Like I've seen Courage the Cowardly Dog at Walmart without the slip covers, so you're kind of lucky if you get them. I'm lucky that I have all of the slip covers, but anyways, yeah, here's disc one, disc two. Kind of don't like these recyclable case thingies, but whatever. Next up is Johnny Bravo. Season one, of course. And inside we have disc one and disc two. Pretty nice artwork on this, but no inserts. And next is Courage the Cowardly Dog, the complete first season. And this one has some shiny disc artwork, which is kind of neat. Disc 1 and disc 2. And again, no insert, but that's alright. And this is one that came out not too long ago. The second season of Courage the Cowardly Dog, Hall of Fame with a slip cover. And I hope this means that they're thinking about releasing more of these. I hope that they'll release more seasons. But it's nice that this came out anyways. And no insert in this either, but we have disc 1 and disc 2. And here's a slightly newer show. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Season 1. Comes with a pretty cool slipcover thing where pull it out and then the uh, artwork on the actual uh, case is a little bit different so that's kind of awesome. And we'll open this one up and it has an insert just like the Ed, Ed and Eddie discs with episode guides inside and some advertisements on the back. Here's disc one and disc two and you're probably wondering why it's got these little stickers on the centers there and that's because I actually bought these at a video rental store. This was 
they were selling it for five bucks. I'm not sure why, they probably just wanted to get rid of it, but I thought that was a really good deal. So five bucks for this at a video store. And they buffed it, they buffed all the scratches off the discs too, because uh, I actually had to take it back because it wasn't playing one of the discs, but they buffed it for me, and so that wasn't a problem. So five bucks, great deal. And next up is a collection that I don't exactly like that much, but I got it for kind of a good deal at Barnes & Noble. It was like 35 bucks, uh, holiday sale or something like that several years ago. The Powerpuff Girls, the complete series, 10th anniversary collection. So this is a six disc set in a really large box set. And that's kind of one of the main reasons that I don't like it because it's only six discs, but they put it in six regular cases. They could have done a little better, like, you know, they could have put it easily in three cases or something, two discs in a case or something. I just always like when, whenever possible, have the smallest cases, you know, as long as, as, long as the discs are adequately protected. Like, you don't need six regular sized cases for a box set these days you can do smaller than that and I just wish they would have. These are the inserts which I actually had to take out of the cases and I'll show you why but this is season one, season two, season three, four, five, and six they all kind of look the same. And on the back this is actually pretty cool. If you lay these out, if you lay out the six inserts in order, you can create this continuous poster-like thing, which is pretty cool. So I thought that was pretty creative that they did that. Just put them all in order, and you have that. So now I'll show you why I actually decided to take these inserts out of the cases. And you can see that they actually made them a little bit too wide. So when you close the case, they start to squish in there, and I don't want them to get damaged like that. So I had to take them all out, and they just kind of go in the side in the box. So that's how that works. Anyway, here is disc one, and you can see it is double-sided. All of them are double-sided. So I'm not even going to bother showing you the rest, because they all look exactly the same. But this is season one. Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, Season 5, and finally Season 6. And the only reason I decided to buy this show is kind of just because it was really cheap, number one, and number two because it is a show that even though it's kind of a girl show really, it is one that I watched a lot when I was younger and watching all the other shows like Ed, Ed and Eddie because they all came on at kind of the same time. So I had to watch Powerpuff Girls, you know, to watch Dexter's, Dexter's Lab, Ned, Ed and Eddie. They were all on at the same time. So I kind of liked it a little bit and I just decided to buy it because it was cheap. But anyway, that's about it for my complete series Cartoon Network stuff. And now I have a few holiday compilation discs. So first is Cartoon Network Halloween 2, grossest Halloween ever. Still looking to get Halloween 1, but I need to find it for a cheap price. And I think it's out of print now too, so it's kind of been hard for me to find. Anyway, this one comes with five Halloween sort of themed episodes. Then it has four bonus ones as well. So inside, here's the disc. Pretty nice artwork on that one. And we have an insert with DVD ads, and then an episode list on the back. Next up is Cartoon Network Halloween 3, Sweet Sweet Fear. Here's a look at the back, and then we'll open it up. Here's the disc. And this one has an insert as well with an episode list and DVD ads. And finally we have a couple of Christmas compilation discs. The first one is Cartoon Network Christmas Rocks. And I think there's two other ones in this series that I haven't yet picked up just because they're out of print and kind of hard to find for a, for a decent price. 
Uh, but this one has five Christmas episodes and then three bonus episodes. Here's a look at the disc. And it has an insert with an episode guide and then of course DVDs on the back. And here is an example of another Christmas one I've been looking for, Christmas Volume 1, but I haven't found it just yet for a cheap price. And finally, I guess you could sort of call this Volume 4 of the Christmas compilation collection, but I don't know. Um, this, is, this one came out in 2014, Holiday 2014, the Cartoon Network Holiday Collection. This has some newer episodes of newer cartoons on Cartoon Network modern series. We have uh, Adventure Time, Regular Show, The Amazing World of Gumball for the Christmas episodes, and then there's two bonus episodes, Clarence and Steven Universe. And Amazing World of Gumball and Steven Universe, I don't even think I've seen any of those, so it's kind of nice to have just a couple of those episodes to check out. Clarence, I've seen an episode or two. Same with Regular Show and Adventure Time. I don't actually have Cartoon Network because I don't have cable, so I can't watch these shows regularly. I could buy the season sets, but I'm still waiting on those because I want to get them for a cheap price. But anyways, from what I've seen of these shows, they're pretty cool. I mean, uh, like, I'm not a kid anymore, so it's hard for me to get interested in modern cartoons. That's just the way it is. I like the cartoons I grew up with, but... Even so, these ones are still pretty entertaining to watch, the ones that I've seen, and I'm sure these other ones that I haven't yet seen are pretty good. And I bought this actually after Christmas, so I haven't even watched this disc yet. So I still got to do that, but I am honestly might just wait until next Christmas, so who knows. Anyways, this has an insert with some ads, and again, like, this is a Blu-ray I'd like to get, same with this. And I'm just kind of waiting see if they go on sale at any time and then I'll pick those up eventually. So anyways guys, that was just a quick little, actually I don't know if it's quick because this video might be kind of long, but that was a video of my Cartoon Network collection of DVDs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more collection videos, check out my channel, subscribe if you'd like. And that's going to be about it for this video. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.